In this video, get ready to experience the power of reggae music with the one and only Toots Hebert, known for his soulful voice and infectious rhythm. Yeah, well, Toots Hibbert is a legend in the world of reggae music with hits like 54 to 46, Was My Number One and Pressure Drop. Toots and the Metals have inspired countless artists and fans around the world. So sit back, relax and let Toots Hibbert music transport you to a world of good vibes positive energy. Get ready to experience the magic of Toots Hibbert only on this channel. Father, as we come to you with this message, we ask that you guide and protect those who feel lost and those in need. We are not perfect people, but as time flies, we learn and teach as your words and lessons taught to us. Okay, it's way back. I used to go to church with my parents, you know, and um, it's a kind of clap on church. And they used to have concert, concert, and I, I was just, I was just about 12. I can remember and doing things like that. And every time I sang, people make a little nice clap and joyful, you know? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Toots Hebert, also known as Frederick Nathaniel Hebert, Born December 8, 1942, in Maypen, Jamaica. He grew up in a musical family and began singing at a young age, performing in church and at school events. In the early 1960s, he but formed a group called The Metals with two friends, Henry Ralph Gordon and Nathaniel Jerry Matthias. The group quickly gained popularity in Jamaica with their unique blend of ska and gospel music and in 1968, they released their first album called Never Grow Old. So, um, come up in church, call order, you know. I was grow up just like that. So that's where the talent come from. Um, that's why most of my songs is like, it's coming from the church, it really. Uh, not political, really, but you know, sometimes people may find it that way too, you know. That's where I come, you yeah? Throughout the 1970s and 1980s, Toots and the Metals continued to release hit songs and albums including Funky Kingston and Reggae Got Soul. Hibbert's powerful vocals and charismatic stage presence made him one of the most popular and respected figures in reggae music. Oh, first time we used to have this word in Jamaica, Shreggae. And whenever you see someone that's not looking upright, you call him Shreggae, you know? So um, we really began to play, and we say I, I record a song called "Let's Do the Reggae." Yeah. So the world is coming from reggae to reggae, right. and I put it in music and say "Let's Do the Reggae," right. and that's where it comes around. So it comes from you. Yeah, with the musician, I mean, uh, there's the words yeah. and the lyrics, but the music comes from the musicians. Mm -hmm. Toots Hibbert's influence on reggae music was recognized with numerous awards and honors, including induction into the Rock and Rock Hall of Fame in 2020. Unfortunately, Toots Hibbert passed away on September 11, 2020, at the age of 77, but his legacy as a pioneer of reggae music lives on. I would say Ray Charles is the one that influenced me in the singing business. I used to listen to the American gospel singers, Give it to me two times. Give it to me three times. Give it to me four times. In August 2020, it was reported that Hibbert was in hospital fighting for his life in a medical induced coma. On 12th September 2020, in a statement on the band's Facebook page, announced that he had died. And at the age of 77, the Glenna and Rolling Stone later confirmed the announcement, reporting that Hibbert had died at the University Hospital of the West Indies in Kingston.
Frederick Toots Hibbert, frontman of the pioneering reggae outfit Toots and the Maytals and one of the greatest voices of popular music, died Friday evening at the age of 77. His family said in a statement, quote, It is with the heaviest of hearts to announce that Frederick Nathaniel Toots Hibbert passed away peacefully tonight, surrounded by his family. The cause of death was not disclosed, but the reggae giant was hospitalized last month after showing symptoms consistent with the coronavirus. He was later placed in a medically induced coma, where a rep for the musician said he was, quote, fighting for his life. Ziggy Marley said in a statement, quote, I spoke with him a few weeks ago and told him how much I loved him and what he means to me. I am fully in sorrow tonight. Hibbert's death comes just weeks after Toots and the Maytals released their new album, Got To Be Tough, the band's first full-length LP in more than 10 years. I don't remember who I go to next. I think it's Coxon. Mr. Dad, a decent man too. And um, that was it. He, he taught me from there. We got a whole lot of songs. So we didn't care about the money, he just we got a whole lot of songs. And um, some of the songs are maybe we want to put together better, but those days we just do it. Once you have a good voice, <laughs> just do it. Yeah, I will say, let's do it, you know? And yeah, I will set the rhythm time with Mr. Dad. And also Mr. Edward, so set the rhythm and thing. It was good. I hope the information and recommendation I provided were helpful in learning more about Toots Hibbert and reggae music. Thank you, and please feel free to reach us on this channel. If you have any more questions or topics you would like us to discuss, please feel free to do so. Thank you. Don't forget 